subscribe to my channel with another tutti moment. So guys, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's actually a leap year this year. Everyone has different beliefs about leap years. Before we start, let me just tell you guys, I'm not very well. Um, I've had like um, cold and cough for a couple of days now, so my voice is not the best. My nose is all like bunged up and everything. But <clears throat> I just thought, you know, I've been seeing some videos on social media and I've just been like, what the hell is wrong with me? I just thought, I just thought you know, I'm going to come here and let's discuss it. And obviously because it's a leap year, I only have one in every four years, I think, to do this video. And we can review it in four years and then see what the world is like. Basically, so yeah, so I was just saying, just excuse my voice and just bear with me today guys hopefully by the next time i do the next video my voice will be so much better and won't have all these issues the question today is should a lady ever propose to a guy what do you guys think so the traditional way of proposals are basically the guy um most times go on one knee and ask the girl to marry him that's the very very traditional way that's the way that i think most girls grew about obviously if you're lesbian and stuff then yeah most girls grew about a girl i don't think i don't want to get into that but basically yeah that's how the traditional way that's that's basically the traditional way that you do stuff um be proposals anyway so should a lady propose ever propose to a guy um you know i think it all depends on the kind of relationship you have with the person. I think if you're doing it because maybe you guys have always talked about, if you guys are all in all this kind of feminist equality kind of relationship where you feel like each person has a right to be able to do what the other gender you would usually do and stuff like that. I think maybe yes, because that's kind of the values that you guys have in your relationship. But I think if you're doing it because you've been dating this guy for 10 years and you're just tired of waiting, Auntie, you're very, very stupid. I repeat it. Auntie, you're very, very stupid. Don't ever do that shit. It's not about the fact that you're actually proposing. It's about the fact that you're proposing to someone that obviously doesn't want to get married. Because after 10 years, are you mad? 10 years of, I don't know if it's, if it's engagement or 10 years of relationship. What the hell are you doing for 10 years? Like, it obviously means that you guys don't want to, because not every relationship would lead to marriage and not everyone that's in a relationship actually wants to get married so if you don't understand the kind of partner that you have and i'm sure in them 10 years you guys have sometimes talked about marriage and then all of a sudden you just go and propose i actually want him to say no and so you look stupid like are you are you crazy why 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 would you do that i just feel like you're just setting a trap for yourself because after the whole, you know, hoo-ha of, oh my gosh, I'm engaged, and it's like, oh, this girl took the boat slip and whatever. Behind closed doors, the guy that obviously didn't want to do anything in 10 years doesn't exactly want to get married all of a sudden because his girlfriend proposed. It doesn't make any sense to do that, and I just feel like if you're, if you if you guys do end up getting married, it would be a very, very forced marriage. You know, there's nothing wrong with the girl proposing if that's what, if that's the kind of relationship that you're in. But if you guys are in a, you know, normal relationship and the guy is not proposing to you and you're doing that, I just feel like you're being stupid. Or if maybe you just feel like you you want to be bold and be very spontaneous and surprise him. I've actually seen videos of girls surprising and proposing to their boyfriend in like public places and the guy just literally walks up and be like, what are you doing? You bloody deserve that because for me it's like why the hell did... i feel like before any proposal before any relationship gets to the part where you guys are proposing i think you guys already start talking about okay we've been dating for whatever amount of time um i think i want to take us to the next i think you guys will already start having discussions like that so it's very very easy for you guys or for you to then be in a position whereby you feel like you can propose to the person because you are both in that frame of mind if the if it's if it's not even a forget about the whole girl thing, even for a guy, if you and the girl have not started having talks along that line and you go and propose, even if she says yes, 
Shelby just said yes to you because maybe you've done it in a way where she doesn't really know how to say no. The person themselves, and obviously this is why some people actually end up being told no when they propose because that person, you've not had that conversation to say, okay, are you ready to move in the next step? Not everyone is actually ready for that next step. Some people love to be where they are. So not everyone wants to do the whole big wedding or small wedding. No, not everyone wants a wedding. Not everyone wants a marriage. Some people genuinely just want to stay as civil partners. Not everyone wants to officially put it on pen on, on paper or anything and I think if you're not able to respect that a person's decision or even understand the kind of relationship the kind of relationship that you're in I just think you're in the wrong place. If you want marriage and the person next to you is basically saying I'm not ready then that's not a relationship for you because you guys are obviously not on the same path. If you're in a if you're in a situation where you're saying to the person right I'm ready and the person says okay actually yeah We'll go together some time, go on, then I'm ready. And that's different. You can't force, I don't think anyone should force marriage on anyone because it's a very, 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 very big decision. It's a very, it's a lifelong commitment. Like, I don't feel scared when I see people that get married really young. It's like, are you sure that's the kind of step you want to be taking at this point in your life? Because I really feel like you have to be in the right frame of mind. You have to understand the implications of what you're doing before you can put yourself in that sort of commitment for life even when i sign a contract of a year or two years i'm like gosh i'm stuck with this person i'm stuck with this provider usually when i sign contracts for like my bills and stuff or like my electric or gas or whatever i'm like oh one year my broadband one year with these people i'm already thinking my gosh and then this is not that sort of thing this is like a lifelong thing and you just think it's something that you're just going to have and I think most people are now very interested in the wedding and everyone forgets that the actual ceremony is basically even if you have the biggest wedding in the world it can be more than a month let's say you had the most flamboyant lavish extraordinary wedding it can be more than a month even if let's say you space it out throughout the year after a year or after how long do you want to plan your shit, the wedding would be over, at least one of the weddings would be over in a day. So what is the plan afterwards? If the person is not in the right, right frame of mind, then I just think you're setting yourself to fail. I don't know nothing about how a divorce works. I'm not married. I don't know nothing about, you know, like <clears throat> how to maintain a marriage because I'm not exactly married. But I just feel like the both of you have to have the right frame of mind set or the right frame of or the being the same similar even if, even if the other person is not exactly 100% ready they have to be able to, be able to they have to be able to see the both of you having a future or having something that would lead you guys at least i know that much you know and i just think you as a girl going to propose to a guy first of all he just looks desperate plain desperate it's like why but yes we're in a world now where girls and women are being more confident and being more bold and being able to you know take on challenges and that's that's very good but i just feel like don't do that to yourself if the other person is not ready there's nothing with anyone anyone proposing boy girl you know transgender whatever you can do whatever the hell you want it's a free word and if you want a wedding if you want a wedding but I just feel like don't force it it has to be something that you guys have discussed and I feel like anyone that's about to get married should be in a relationship whereby talks about settling down and being had and not just a random because if it's me <laughs> if you just randomly come to me and just we're just we've been, even no matter how long we've been dating and we've not had any conversations about settling down or whatever or I've not we've not met i don't know i've not met anyone serious that i would say i can confirm is actually from a good place or she's a or he's a good person and you just randomly come to me forget forget even if we've been dating for five years and you just randomly come to me and give me a ring or oh, will you marry me dude the answer is no no like you can't just suddenly just spring marriage up on me and just we have to know what we're about to do we have to be sure that that is what is right for the relationship at that point. We have to be sure that that's what we want together as a couple. Because as I said, 
not everyone actually wants a wedding not everyone actually wants marriage and i just feel like people are just getting pressure to the point where they're you know they're just doing stuff because they just want to do it and yes it's a leap year so everyone this year is going to be making stupid and everyone i don't know if you guys know this but where i'm from we have a belief that leap years are basically like the cursed years every four years the 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 earth um, it cleanses itself people die bad things happen and that's 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 sort of the thing that we believe where i'm from so yes leap year is a year where crazy things would happen and very spontaneous things will happen and you usually have to be very prayerful when, when you're in a leap year you have to be very cautious when you're in a leap year so maybe you're thinking oh you know crazy is happening this year i might as well be crazy that's okay but don't be crazy to the point where you don't think about the long-term effect of it and you end up regretting your actions and looking stupid in the middle of them all that makes any sense guys that's basically how i feel about it um as i always say we're just having a conversation guys i'm no expert on anything i am not married i don't have anyone wanting to propose to me or anything so I'm just talking based on how I just see life and how I just see things. If you're watching me, you can think, what the hell is she talking about? Yes, yeah, she can propose, you can propose whenever you want, whatever. We're all very different people and the fact that I'm saying something doesn't mean that I'm right. The fact that you're saying something doesn't mean that you're right. It doesn't mean that I'm wrong. It doesn't mean that you're wrong. It's just a conversation. Um, as I always say, you can comment on my um, page or you can DM me to let me know your views about this. But I just think, it's too risky and I don't like to get embarrassed so my one answer for this one is a big no anyway guys thank you for watching this video I shall see you guys in my next 2T moments video bye